Go, go, guys. Come on. Show us some, some fight spirit. It's a desert like Arabia again. Okay, checking fast the maps. Side uh, gold for Andrew. Uh, forward stone. Another forward gold. Wood is okay here in the back. And another one for later in Castle Age. Uh, he can place a town center right there or even forward i mean in front here a town center yeah but he's kind of exposed this time on the other side we have anze almost to the edge of the map uh, left right of his town center good wood but gold stone all the gold and stone forwards all but this one is completely safe i mean the wood if he does, you know, some small palisades and the military buildings in front, he will have his town center completely safe. And, of course, the lumberjacks, the problem will be uh, the gold and the stones. So, let's see, with the proper micro, maybe Andrew will decide to go aggressive. Go forward and aggressive. Okay. So, I, I, I still think that it's a slightly better map for, uh, for Anze. If he's careful enough uh, to place the military buildings in front and do some, some walling, some palisading, he can have a very sweet map. Uh, he will put four villagers on wood, so I think this is, uh, this is how he wants to play it. No, only three now. And going for the first boar, okay, last time he had four. And four villagers, usually, not all the time, but usually means a drush that he wants to do a barrack around seven minutes, give or take. And three militias, rush with three villagers only on wood, that usually means going up feudal. 21 or 22 population and this time I see Andrew having four vills on wood huh. so having this map kind of kind of exposed he will try to to play aggressive the first boar took by him the first boar for Anze as well Okay. Reveals on berries. Ooh. Anze is with the scout already. He can see. I think he can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can see the lumber. He found he found Andrew's lumber. Nice. And he can even try to to lame one of the boars. Ooh. But no, it's too late. Now Andrew is sending the villager to take the second boar. There he is. Okay, as you can see pretty much where Andrew is. He missed that vill going with the second boar. He tried probably to, to find it. Okay, 19 population for both of them. And Andrew also raiding, I mean raiding scouting, and can see now Anze slumber, and he will see the town center, and he can yeah, estimate where the town center is, ooh, now for sure he will, Anze moving a few vills to another, the wood to the other one, will he go? So, no, I thought he might go, no, no, he's going with 22 population, okay, now making the loom, it's 8 minutes in the game, but I don't see Andrew, even though he had 4 vills on wood, well, I said usually that means a drush, but not all the time, he preferred to do 2 farms, and he's also up, but with 21 population, so he'll be faster. A few seconds faster. 
and he can see all these resources yep all the resources forward for Anze now building the barrack spotted by Anze obviously he will also do a barrack come on you have you have the resources I don't see Anze making making barrack oh now he does okay 22 21 no militias no militias so they will go scouts Andrew faster feudal age there he is stable the same for Anze stable and maybe he will do a palisade like I said or later on he can add some archery ranges but usually you you add you make those buildings in front of your of your gold you want to have protection to all the buildings and of course uh, where uh, villagers are or will be three scouts right away to five farms for Anze Andrew with uh, four farms making scouts yeah this will be scout fight two for each not a big difference and yeah making some palisades well he prefers to do it with the town center instead of joining it with the stable okay it's a personal preference of course Dotovic you can come four scouts for Anze three for Andrew and Anze has more farms way more farms now going back he, he has the fourth scout also not far away Anze with the fifth one 32 population for Andrew 32 as well for Anze Anze 12 farmers 10 lumberjacks while Andrew is with 11 farmers and 10 lumberjacks the difference is not big like I said the difference is not big and moving now wheels gold pretty much the same for Andrew but I think Andrew wants a palisade also here to deny as coming from behind and hitting both his lumber camps military wise let's see six scouts and two infantry seven and two infantry now for Andrew while Anze seven and one okay is he no he doesn't make another palisade and he might have problems later on like i said Anze can can bring archers or cav archers here and he can he can attack andrew he wanted to make a palisade here just to block him of going behind his numbers 43 population as the 44 41 now for Andrew both defending and fighting any difference no both without bloodlines but Andrew in his base with the support from two no from one spear the other one is protecting the gold now making the first archery range uh, Anze will do the same yeah he has wood how many wheels on gold uh, 13 gold miners while Andrew has six gold miners whoa that's a big difference that's a big difference are you in team pick Mr. Totovic of course he is hola Hola Katsuni. How are you Mr. Dotovic, Dr. Dotovic? Thanks, I'm fine, but I'm not a doctor yet. 
not yet, but you are a doctor in many other aspects of life. Uh, you know uh, pretty much everything what is to know about about cheeks, about... Come on, man. You are a doctor. Yeah, that's correct. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I gotta get in the room. Uh, can you get me in there? My name is Dot Winwick for Helen. Uh, la, 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 la. I'll have to. Let's let's wait just a little bit until uh, probably they will have some break or maybe a pause. Uh, what's your name? Uh, you you are, are you silver or gold member or just regular? Because just otherwise regular. I'll have to find from I all that list. You. From all that list, man. Yeah, you have to. Okay, uh, message me so I, I can find you easier. Anyway, 56 population, 58 now for Andrew, 52 for Anze, and on the way to Castle Age, Anze. Oh man. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. And request. Oh, I can see you. Come on, fast. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I don't see you. Where are you, man? We are in room 2. Boo, here you are. And to go cast. Are you in? Yep. Thanks. Okay. Back to the game. Let's see this attack. Andrew pushing with uh, uh, with scouts. Does he have yeah, with bloodlines while Anze oh, he also has uh, bloodlines a few seconds away from Castle Age. Uh, also with a defensive tower protecting his gold miners and looks like Anze will win this fight. What the hell is going on, man? Look at that. I mean, Andrew was was kind of stubborn, really, of going and not not even microing really his army. And now what? To, okay, GG, GG, cold. This is unbelievable. Come on. So you didn't even catch up with the game, right? And this no, is, and I this wasn't is able to get in the game because oh, it says I out. joined too late. Oh my, come on. Look at this, man. Terrible fight really for Andrew. Going straight to the towers and straight into, into Anze's army. Anyway, let's watch the, the... Let's check the achievements, change the score. Who would expect this really? 2-0 at this point for Anze, which will go f with his second home map. Military, 20 kills for him, 6 losses, even though Andrew, look at the largest army, 26 against 11. He had more than double, but kind of suicide there, straight suicide. More food for Andrew, but much more gold for Anze. 500 at this point was big, man. But I don't know, kind of disappointing games, really. So fast, both games around 20 minutes mark. Okay. What was the first game? Was it Arabia as well? No. The first one was Land Nomad. First home uh, okay. map for... Yeah. First home map for uh, Anze. 